Jacob McGahee from Ministry 9. Um, I'm here today to uh, talk a little bit about some of our new uh, products we've just released. Kicking off this year, our uh, newest and most exciting uh, mountain bike products are our new collaboration with We Are One Composites for our premium carbon mountain bike line. With this lineup, uh, we had several goals. Uh, number one was we were in try trying to improve the ride compliance traction of the product. Number two was to reduce pinch flats. And number three was we wanted to go after a 100% North American made product. Um, thought it was something that would be really unique and uh, something we wanted to bring to the market for quite a while. Um, so that was uh, our goal with this product line. To that end, we, we've made several changes to the new product. We've gone to a thicker bead wall. Um, we've also uh, gone to a shallower rim depth. Um, this is across our entire lineup. And then we've also adjusted the layup schedule on the rims to introduce a little bit more compliance into the carbon structure itself. Um, the end result is, we feel, the best carbon uh, mountain bike rim lineup we have produced to date. So I'm going to take the opportunity to go through the lineup today. Um, we also have the broadest lineup we've had yet, uh, and the uh, first wheel set I'm going to show you is our Ultralight 280 wheel set. Um, this is the premium wheel set that's going to be targeted at a cross-country racer or a rider who's riding 100 mil travel uh, hardtail or full suspension bikes and looking for the best possible tool to get from point A to point B as fast as they can. Um, so the, the uh, 280 uh, is, is also unique in the fact that uh, it is one of the, the widest wheel sets in its class with a 28 mil inner width. Um, this is perfect for the wider XC tires that are becoming more and more common. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Maxxis just released their new wide trail series of XC tires last week. Um, which are designed in, and optimized around uh, 25 to 30 millimeter inner width rims um, with the, uh, the best fit being rims that are uh, closer to 30 millimeter inner width. So this is a perfect, uh, perfect match for those wider tires, provide, gives you better tire support and is a great tool for getting from point A to point B as fast as possible. The next wheel in our lineup is our Trail 280 wheel set. Uh, these are available in 29 inch only, uh, but do come in a 32 hole and 24 hole option. Uh, they actually use the same rim, but the 32 hole options for the, for the rider who's looking for the stiffest possible setup, uh, 24 hole is going to offer a little more compliance and a little bit lighter weight. The Trail 280 is a perfect do all wheel set, uh, typically for bikes in the 120 mil to 140 mil travel category, um, or for riders who are looking for a lightweight product. Uh, but also something that's going to be a little bit stronger, a little bit stiffer than our ultralight product line. The Enduro 315 wheel set is going to be the go-to wheel set for riders who are looking for a burly set of wheels um, that will take you through everything from all-day epics uh, to the shuttle days and park days. The 315 with a 31.5 inner width is, awesome, is an awesome uh, width for tires in the 2.3 to 2.6 inch range. Uh, it's going to offer you great support whether you're smashing through berms or trying to run lower tire pressures for that super tech um, off-camber trail that you've been trying to clean for years. Uh, the 315 is available in several configurations. It comes in both 27.5 and 29 inch options and the 29 inch uh, options also are available in both 24 hole and 32 hole. Again the 32 hole is going to be the setup for the rider looking for the stiffest possible setup. Um, and it's great for either heavier riders or riders who really like to throw their bikes into berms um, kind of push things uh, in a lot more in, in, uh, in the corners. 24 hole setup is great for uh, either lighter riders or riders who are looking for a little bit more compliant wheel set. Um, I personally, personally love our 24 hole setup because it offers a little bit more traction and in, in, uh, off camber root rock impacts and, uh, and just an overall great ride quality and strength to weight ratio. As a new addition to our lineup, we also in, offer our Enduro series now in the 355 rim profile. So this is a 35.5 inner width. It's the widest enduro rim we've offered to date. Um, still uh, essentially matches the impact rating of our 315 rims, um, but offers a little bit more tire support for uh, tires in the 2.4 to 3.0 range. Um, it's, it's also a great pairing to run a 355 front rim with a 315 rear rim. Um, we found in testing that it's a great combination that offers you a little bit more support uh, lower pressures for the front rim um, and gives you a little more square profile for b and more biting edges uh, but keeps the rear tire a little more rounded and improves the rolling resistance and also it's just a good good overall uh, match to the wider front rim. And the 355 is available in again in 27.5 and 29 inch 
and the 29 inch is also available in a 32 hole and 24 hole versions. Also new to our uh, lineup for this year, we are now offering our first ever carbon downhill rim series. The Gray 315 is a great tool for riders whether you're looking for you know, a burly setup that's going to handle a, a, a year long plus of uh, bike park days or uh, downhill racing. It's also a great option for riders who uh, tend to be a little harder on our equipment and, uh, and uh, have gone through rim, carbon rims in the past. Um, this is our strongest rim we offer and the, and the strongest carbon product we've, uh, we've ever offered to date. For 2021, we are updating our two most popular alloy rim models. Um, we've got our new Enduro 305. The Enduro 305 has been our best-selling wheel set of all time. And uh, while it's been a great product, we felt like it was, uh, it was time to uh, take the uh, wheel set to the next level. For 2021, our main goals were to improve uh, the radial compliance of the rim and to reduce pinch flat uh, risk on the, on the products. So in order to accom accomplish that, what we did is we actually reduced the uh, rim depth from 21.5 to 18 and a half millimeters. Um, what that does is allows the rim to ha offer a bit more deflection radially under impacts. Um, that not only improves the overall ride quality, but it also makes the uh, allows the tire to stick to the trail a little better. Instead of your your wheels and tires bouncing off obstacles, they can they can stay stuck to the ground a little bit more, um, improving traction as well as as ride quality. In addition, we also uh, went to a thicker bead wall, uh, over 40% wider than our previous generation at the top of the bead wall. Um, we did this for two things. Uh, number one, it does make the overall uh, uh, rim stiffer and stronger when it comes to impact resistance, so the, so the bead wall is less likely to, to deflect uh, or, or, uh, or dent. Um, but in addition, it, it gives you more surface area, so when the tire does get smashed against the rim, a typical pinch flat situation you might deal with with a tubeless tire where it cuts your chamfer strip area and puts a second hole in the tread area, uh, the wider bead wall disperses that force from the impact and, and makes the tire much less likely to, to cut in a scenario like that. So significantly resist, resist your, uh, your chance of having, getting a, a pinch flat when, you're, uh, have a, when you have a major impact. In addition to uh, updating the Enduro 305, we also have uh, updated and upgraded our ultralight rim. So the ultralight 235 has been our uh, most popular uh, rim for cross-country cross use for many years. Um, the 250 updates that rim in several facets. Uh, number one, we went from a 23.5 to a 25 inner width. Um, we've, we've slowly watched uh, cross-country tires migrate from the popular 2.1s of 10 plus years ago to 2.2 tires. Uh, so now uh, the more uh, the steadily more popular 2.3 and 2.4 inch tires that are, are currently making their way to market. So this tire, this rim is going to be perfect for some of the wider uh, wider tires that are available today, including the new Maxxis Wide Trail tires that are designed for 25 to 20, 30 millimeter inner width rims. Um, but in addition to that, we also uh, took same, some of the same measures we implemented in our Enduro series and brought those over to the new 250 rim as well. So this rim is. Uh, shallower than our previous generation, again for more compliance and traction, um, and also does feature an 11% wider bead wall. Uh, it's not quite the uh, step up we went on the Enduro um, since we are still trying to maintain some uh, lightweight for this product, uh, but it does uh, offer reduced pinch flat protection, and, uh, and overall the rim also got significantly wider by about almost three millimeters, um, which does increase the overall lateral stiffness of the rim. So these are two, uh, two great additions to our lineup. Uh, both of these products, both the Enduro 305 and the Ultralight uh, 250 are available in 29 inch as well as 27.5 inch options. And then the Enduro 305 is still available in 26 inch options for those of you who are uh, still running a 26 inch bike or trying to build up that perfect dirt jumper.